Now that we have the UI in place, the next step is to add interactivity. So if we enter an amount and click on the spend button, the total needs to be updated. And the way we are going to be achieving this functionality is with the help of Chrome Storage APIs. Now, the Chrome Storage is kind of a place where you can store values within variables. Now, the Spend button, once we click it, it is going to be making use of Chrome APIs, which is going to be in a JavaScript file, and that is going to set value to a variable within the Chrome Storage. And again, at a later point of time, when we need that value, we can get that value back into our JavaScript. So Chrome Storage is how you work with values and storing them. Now let's go back to our HTML file and add the JavaScript references. So over here, beneath title, I'm going to add a script and the source is going to be equal to popup.js and we also need jQuery. So script source is equal to and I'm just going to copy what we used for Hello World. So I'm going to go back, go to Hello World and copy this jQuery. So copy, go to Budget Manager and paste it. All right, there we go. Now I can copy the same thing and paste it over here. Now, the final step for using Chrome Storage is to have permissions for the Chrome Storage. And where do we declare that? In the manifest. So over here, I'm gonna put a comma and then say permissions. And this is going to be an array. So within the array, we need permissions for the storage. And that's pretty much it. Let's get started with our JavaScript in the next video.